Sports Welcome to, to your Foot game. Daily Update, guys. My name is John Sims. We've got Foot Captains. We're going to be making you coins. we got to check this out, guys. Insane what's happening in the market today, guys. Insane what's going to happen to the market. You're going to see a lot of stuff drop. We're going to keep you guys informed. But, guys, remember, if you have a comment, a question, just comment below. We'll get it answered. We do a reply to comments every single day. As I said, it will be a tad late today. I apologize for coming out a little bit late. But let's get straight in to the content. So, guys, we have Javier Zanetti. We've got this daily login upgrade, a Jaquin, um, and a Jal Felix. Okay, so I see a lot of demand within this Jal Felix. As you guys know, Jal Felix is very, 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 very known in the FIFA community. He's like one of those FIFA legends right now, even though he's only not that old but basically guys inform here in 83s what does that mean there's gonna be a lot of demand here i think a lot of people are actually going to do this sbc so you may see some relative demand here for the next few days 30k for an 87 even the sbc value is not bad so you might see this one quite a bit it's a decent card it's nothing crazy but i think they price it very well i really like that they only price it about 30k but guys the jockwin sbc is actually is decent but not enough to where i'm going to see a bunch of demand but i am going to see a lot of demand in here you guys look at this uh this is repeatable for seven days guys this was under four thousand coins when it came out three thousand coins it has popped like crazy but minimum silver minimum of three gold players three gold player minimum guys uh are we gonna see silvers no we're not gonna see that many silvers i don't i really don't think we're gonna see that many silvers guys all that silver market in the next 48 hours is going to go up 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 we're actually gonna see a lot more gold commons coming as well so the entire silver market should start to rise but like nobody's gonna pay 3.2 thousand coins for a silver player when they could just buy a uh, like a gold uh, gold common so what are we gonna see we're gonna see these 400 coin players we're gonna see those pop up because it says minimum of silver uh gold players minimum of three so you could just put all gold and it'll drive the price down uh relatively so um guys gold common method is gonna be very very good so if you guys are brand new trading 50 100k 200k 250 uh whatever underneath 500k guys the fastest way to make coins is is a gold common method check the link below if you guys want to make coins that way but let's get into the market update my favorite time of the day guys i look so forward to the market update and uh guys before we get in into anything i want to kind of briefly cover uh some uh, some of these icons and some of these players uh that we're going to be looking at going forward uh before we really get into this guys uh you see how pele 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 god i always do that i always do that pele's here at like 3.2 mil guess where he was yesterday a couple days ago about less than a week ago he's almost at four mil we're seeing that initial drop in the market. What does that mean, guys? What does that mean? Well, it means people are starting to get a little bit frisky. They're getting a little bit scared. If you guys, if we go to Pele from last season, we actually go down to his prime because the prime is exuberant. But where does it, you see something very interesting? Look at the market and look at the biggest drop on the season, guys. Look at the biggest drop on the season. This is why you like. This is why you follow. This is why you subscribe. And then you ding the bell so you always get this information every day and you never miss if you never miss foot daily update you're never going to miss this uh you're never going to miss these type of drops where we keep you informed guys look at this oh where is it where is it there he is look at this drop look at this drop massive 7.7 .7. All the way down to six. Ah, what? What was the day there? What was the day? What was the day? Oh, it happened to be April eighth. Interesting, guys. The next couple of weeks are going to be absolutely devastating to the market. So, what do we do, guys? We get out of the market. We get out of the market. So, uh, where where is our Pele right now? This is FIFA twenty two is at three million, and so. I see this coming down quite a bit, but here's the thing, guys. Three million, if you look at uh, FIFA 21, is where he kind of dropped to. He, didn't, he dropped to almost a little wide over that. Why is that happening? There's so many substitutions this year, guys. Uh, EA have done a lot more of just... A, a, you know supplying even more players this season than they ever have and so that's why this price is uh it came down quite a bit earlier uh than than normal uh now his 99 
His 90-90 is even under what he was last year, even as 98. And so uh, you're going to see kind of very similar stuff occurring. Guys, this is why, why you guys come and look at this. But here, like if we look at this, April icon moments didn't really budge. Didn't really budge at all. Uh, this is when the icon moment market came out. And so these icons were up for a while. And then in May they took a big hit and then in june um i think that was summer uh but so what are we gonna expect guys we're gonna expect this market to come down but let's go ahead and get to this, these gold carts now 1500 for 82 let me just go ahead and look at these gold just 82s real quick for you guys um i'm seeing like yeah that's just an anomaly i feel like I always try to check that just for you guys, but uh, John said it was 83. Uh, this was updated 30 minutes ago, but 83 is at 1600, coming down a little bit. Uh, Lucas Hands has come down a little bit. Uh, Lamar's where his average sale price is, so he has come down a little bit from yesterday, past couple days. But this is uh, this is where I'd probably be trying to flip, guys. I'd probably be trying to flip here because he's come down considerably. So there's probably a lot of people pushing him out. Supplies there uh, shows supply and flip uh, ability for me there's gonna be a lot of uh, players in the market it looks like this has come down as well from 36 all the way broke through the resistance line guys uh potentially going down to 2100 over the next week uh so you are gonna see start start a bunch of this start to drop quite a bit same thing with all these cards guys look at the curve all the way down gonna come down to 2k here in the next uh week or so but who knows uh 88 and that we're down underneath we're about down to the base resi mid-level resistance line before we break that curve guys as this comes down to like 7500 on a daily average to like 7000 we're in for it to come down even further down to 7k uh down to 5500 uh potentially with tots coming um and we're seeing everything drop guys this is very consistent this guy's uh this is why you you know uh with the promo this this is very very consistent with promo releases where these markets are coming this one's still up a little bit um uh, but where to invest guys um in the gold market there's nothing Ooh, you know what where we see these guys coming in at like 85 so here's the thing guys i see some say i see an okay trade here i see an okay trade here if we're able to get it back up to about 10k or before the tots comes out i think 85s are gonna be okay i think 80 actually this whole 85 86 now he's a little bit too high i wouldn't go in uh tom uh thomas mueller could come down to 18k you see him at 18k that's when we're thinking about buying that's when we're thinking about buying. I think that's a, I think it's kind of a 50, 50 kind of safe ish. Uh, it's close though. It's very, very close. Uh, same, same here. To, uh, Tony, uh, or with tony cruz should come down to about 25k though before you want to invest uh but uh, but casimiro is actually somewhat there just a couple thousand coins off that guys i think we're getting very close uh to buy points now uh oh block hasn't been 63k in a long time guys it's been since it's been almost a month since we've seen him down that low so uh we should continuously see uh oh block drop as more supply enters the market guys let's get into the inform market update time for your info market update ladies and gentlemen guys boys and girls it's that's what you guys are actually just saw this movie and uh thoroughly unimpressed but we kind of knew that going in right guys if you just skipped here and you're here for the inform update as you guys know as always 75 76 77 78 79 uh we've we saw these massive drop we told you they were going to drop they dropped now they are starting to come up a little bit or from uh from actually what i was anticipating over this weekend guys as weekend Re league rewards comes out you should see a lot of this market even go down even further uh buchan uh buchanan uh buchanan uh at 12k they're going to come down 11k uh, there's just not enough supply in the market yet and uh so you're going to see that a lot you're going to see a lot of this drop um now now, 81 uh, uh dijuku is where i'd probably be saying investing at for one mil the closer you guys can get to 11k right now if you can get them down 11k guys we're back we're back to those 100 safes if you see them come down to uh, uh to 11k over the weekend you guys you guys know you are safe there uh 82s are way too high i would not risk it with 82s those are going to come down uh but 
you know i think the i think the 81 market's even safe at 13.5 i really if i really think it's safe if you just hold on to them if you just hold on to, if you just think of these as a long-term investment you're just like you know what i'm not gonna be playing the game for a while guys i've seen this market bull we've seen this market bull to you know what i'm i think i got famous from this hamdala trade but uh i told you i'm gonna i went all in right here i went i was just i'm gonna buy it Five, four million right there so i did and boom went to 17 and then boom it went to 21 and boom it's gone it's hit three times this 81 markets hit three times absolutely incredible so guys what does that mean i think that uh if you just hold on to 81s and then they may pop up to to that market again but if we actually check the past uh we'll come up well you know what? i might do a separate video i might come out with the next another video about uh predicting the uh inform market and where mark inform analysis so we can uh relate to that guys but where's the trade on the weekend the the weekend trade i really think is in the 84 market the 84 market is where i think this trade is going to be this weekend guys we have we've got nine different cards coming out uh we got nine nine of these one two three four five six seven eight nine right and so i think that like car this card is going to come down quite a bit actually that's probably the cheapest one uh iago is even okay uh juamini Ju uh all the musalera is going to come down like you can't imagine uh guindosi might stay up a little bit probably the highest out of them all but guys uh I'm seeing all of this come down. They're all going to come down. The only reason why these even stayed up today is because of the Jao Felix, most likely. Um, and because they're cheap, way cheaper than the 83 market, right? And so what are you going to use? Or, or they're about, they're cheap, basically cheaper. And so my, they're basically the same price. And so what are you going to choose? Are you going to choose an 84? Are you going to choose an 83 and then potentially make it cheaper for you later, even though there's the same price. So I would do the 84 inform. So that's, that's where we're seeing that. Now there's not much movement here. Now, 86, sevens uh we've got scriniar that's a new one this week and sommer now sommer is getting close to a buy period guys for those uh, those guys with three mil up to uppers 2.5 mil three mil four mil um guys sommer's getting close sommer's getting very close i'd like to see this uh underneath 38k he gets a 38k guys i think you're leaning safe i think you're leaning safe if he gets to 35k guys over the weekend i think that's 100 percent. i'm dropping the stamp there okay i'm dropping the stamp there now uh before i get to the before i get i forgot to drop the stamp here for the 84s 84s underneath 13 all day long all day long but if they get if they get to about 14k guys i think it's a very safe trade um so i think there's a lot of coins to be made i think there's a lot of investment over the weekend i think there's a lot of demand but this is the asterisk you guys want to listen to the uh you're going to want to listen to the foot summary here when we talk about the asterisk uh everything else everything else everything else everything else is going up okay let's get to it what is the asterisk what should you be investing in why this that this when should you sell all these things as you guys know number one tip do not get greedy do not get greedy. If you get greedy, you guys are going to, you are going to, ah, get closer. You're going to lose. You're going to lose. You are going to lose. If you get greedy, you will lose. So what are we going to think about? Because here's the idea. The next couple weeks are going to be really, it's going to be down and we're going to see some ups. We're going to see down and we're going to see some demand from SBCs. So it should continuously drop and then a little bit of pop, right? Continuously drop with a little bit of pop. And so what are we getting, what are we thinking? Okay, so promo just released. New promo just came out. A lot of supply, a lot of supply. So prices are coming down. But there's almost zero supply in the inform market from the past. So what does that mean? That means that the initial supply is going to enter the market. And then all that, all that base value. Once we get another good SBC, I guarantee these. This captain, the the captain promo is actually pretty good. We've got SBCs, SBCs. We're hearing leaks from tons of SBCs. So what's going to happen? All these SBCs come in. Guess what that means? Demand. And so the second these dip down to a place where there's not that much demand that we're not seeing over this weekend, boom, we're going to get hit with an SBC. And guess what's going to happen again? Skyrocket. We're going to pop up to the moon again. Um, now, down, granted, 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 I don't know 
I don't, it just really depends. It depends on the SPC, but here's number fact number two, guys. Once team of the season comes out, boom, everything's going to drop. Everything's going to come down. Everything. Boom, boom, boom. Supply, 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 supply galore on team, on team of the season. So what does that mean? We need to sell before anything that has to do with team of the season. The second team of the season, guys, there's so much risk involved. The closer we get to every Wednesday we get to, it gets closer and closer uh, to team of the season. That's when you need to get out. Um, but guys, remember, there's a difference between investing and there's a difference in flipping. If you don't know the difference, you guys need to check the video in the description below how to trade or what's the difference between uh, flipping and investing. That is the best way to get started in this market. As you guys know, my name is John Sims. This is your foot update. We keep you making coins every single day. Until next time, guys, my name is John Sims. We'll see you tomorrow.